just finishing up my two hour stop over in Auckland, leaving Sydney this morning was a little bit more emotional than I thought it would be. And the moment where it hit me was after we took off, the plane flew over Western Sydney, basically gave me a great view of the whole of Sydney from the air, and then turned around and did what you could think of as a, a victory lap uh, coming back east on the way over the Pacific Ocean. So it was a little bit emotional for me, a little bit like saying goodbye to an old friend who you're not going to see again for a very long time. While we were up in the air, someone on a guitar played Jason Mraz's I Am Yours, one of the flight attendants announced it beforehand and pumped it out to the whole of the plane, said it was a Christmas Day sort of activity that they wanted to do to mark this special occasion since we're all flying on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to you all. This is a song by Jason Mraz called I'm Yours. to get back onto the plane for the second leg. Hopefully I'll be able to sleep most of the way to get me in sync with Chilean time and uh, if I'm very lucky I might see some good views of the Andes Mountains on the way into Santiago. So I made it to Chile. Um, it's actually Boxing Day now, the end of Boxing Day. I'm a little bit late in getting this out because I've been uh, a bit preoccupied now. Despite that, I've actually just had the longest Christmas Day of my life. It lasted 38 hours. Uh, and there's just two things I want to add to what I've said so far today. Uh, first was the celebration honey. I've been storing uh, some honey in honeycomb for roughly the last year and I finally cracked it open with my parents at the airport before I headed out on the flight. Secondly, before I head out on an international flight, I'll often get myself a box of McDonald's cookies. Now, McDonald's, they don't do the boxes anymore. It seems they now have these bags of cookies and I'm not sure I like this. So, you know, McDonald's, they're the same cookies, so you're forgiven partly, but what's with the bags? Uh, anyway, I'll... I'll get you all a bit of a tour of the house a little bit later, maybe not today, I've got still a bunch of things to unpack, but I've unpacked one of my suitcases, then I've got to unpack the second suitcase of stuff and I should be all done.